Yo, yo, this is your boy Favre Brandon TV coming back to you guys with another video on <laughs> A Tribe Called Quest, guys. This is their first album in 18 years. I'm going to repeat and say that one more time. This is their first album in 18 years, guys. Yes, can you believe it? They came back and slayed, okay? This album is amazing, guys, from... From, from from it's a two part album. Okay, it's got eight songs on each part. Okay, it's got first disc, second disc. You know they kept it very old school. I have to give them their props for that. They kept it very old school. Uh, it's sixteen tracks on all guys, and uh, each song is amazing. Each song has creativity. Each song talks about humanity. It has people from Busta Rhymes to bad Kendrick Lamar to bad just the the entire uh, tribe called Quest crew. They even have stuff. Uh, they even have lyrics of Fife Dog, and you know this album is kind of like. Like a uh, tribute to him because you know he's deceased but guys uh, they really did an amazing job it's effortlessly done okay each song I have to give Q-Tip he is one of my favorite rappers of New York guys I also hear that he is coming out with a, a solo album this year guys it's been a minute guys but this album is a masterpiece if you listen to it you're gonna love it okay we gonna jump right into it Guys, I'm finna give song by song on the album title. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. Guys, for one, I love the title. The title is very, very catchy. Uh, it really catches my attention. I really like the album cover. Uh, it's, it's very, very graffiti. It's very spacious. I like it. You know, uh, a Tribe Called Quest always brings that jazz feel with mixture of hip hop with a mixture of a little bit of just a little, a little tiny just a electronic feel guys they always have a they have a very unique style of music guys which is what i really really enjoy about their music guys the first song is the space program just talking about us as people need to get our shit together okay and come together as one uh i love the message uh just amazing it starts off with a jazzy feel um it's just an amazing song guys you will really really like it it's just amazing it's probably one of my first favorites of the album okay the next song is We The People, okay? We The People is basically just a song talking about uh, politics and just how the government is taking over humanity and how the government is poisoning, you know, uh, America and just the people in general and how we all need to get away from, you know, basically Babylon, guys, basically. It just speaks about just the, the importance of you know, getting away, you know, as the government is taking over everything, and it's just, it basically speaks about the politics, and I really, really enjoy it. I just think that it just sets a, 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 a great, 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 great tone for what is going on in the world today. Guys, I really, really like it. It's just probably another one of my favorites. Um, whatever will be, basically, it's just an amazing song, just with that old school hip hop feel, guys. I believe this is when Busta Rhymes kind of starts coming in and out of the album you know he has he's featured on a lot of songs on the album you know it's really hard to tell when song what songs is he on but he comes throughout most of the album and whatever will be basically is just saying whatever will be will be you know uh bad good or bad I really, really like the message. Amazing song. Okay. Solid wall of sound. Guys, it just basically talks about how music is just the light of earth, basically, is what I'm getting on. The music is just everything. Music is healing. You know, um, it's just, I love it. I love it. It just speaks about music itself. I really, really like it. Buster Rhymes came and slayed, okay? You know, this was just that old Buster Rhymes feel. I don't know if he literally rapped on the songs or if they just chose different songs play uh, uh different vocals and just put them on there but uh, he probably did rap i'm not sure guys but i really really liked it and just with q-tip and just they all slayed i have to give them their props they really did a good job with that that's another one of my favorite this generation just talks about the generation as a whole of today of what you know of what has happened to humanity itself okay i really really like it it's just amazing song Okay, then we get kids. It just basically talks about how each member of the group reminisces them being kids and, you know, how uh, being a kid, everything is very fantasy. Uh, it's just everything as a child. 
everything is basically fantasy. And I really, really like it. I just think that is a reminiscence. Uh, uh, Q-Tip really, you know, Q-Tip, he's just a genius. And just all the people. And I, I really, really like throughout the album how they tribute and kind of put Five Dogs uh, uh, lyrics in some of the songs. And, you know, just, you know, include him in cause, as well. Because, you know, he's been deceased. But... Guys, amazing. They just really did an amazing job. The next song is Melatonin. It just it just gives you just that, that food for thought. Okay, I really, really like the song. I really, really like the melody. Uh, just amazing. You guys will, will love it. Uh, that's another one of my favorites on the album. The next song is Enough. I really, really like it. I just think that it just has a, a nice tone. It's very, very dope. You guys will love it. Okay. But pretty much, basically, the whole entire album is just dope. Okay. Mobius was just... Uh, each member on the song was just speaking at, spitting that fire. Especially when Busta Rhymes... I heard Busta Rhymes amazing. Just everybody was just spitting that fire on here. Um, just an amazing song. Black Spasmodic. Okay. I think this was definitely a Five Dog tribute. Okay. You know, you just... I think you hear a little bit of his lyrics in this song. Um, it's just very, 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 very amazing. I really, really like it. It's just probably another one of my favorites that I was really, really feeling on this album. And when you listen to it, you just really, really get that realness of hip-hop on this album. And it's just amazing. I love how they came back 18 years later and still sound the same, okay? They still got that real, that, that magic touch of hip-hop. And guys, it's just amazing. I love it amazing the killing season just talks about what's going on in the community with all the killing guys now this song is just very 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 relatable to today's world okay all the killings that's going on just everything the violence and everything i love it amazing uh lost somebody just talks about lost ones you know uh, i believe this is this could probably go as another uh, maybe you can say it's kind of like another uh, tribute to Five Dog, but it just relates to just anybody who's lost anybody in their life. But moving backwards, it just talks about going in a, a backwards phase of life and what people go through. Uh, I love it. It just talks about, you know, people staying. I believe it talks about people, uh, you know, staying in the past and, and not going towards the future, I think. In my opinion, that's what I'm getting out of the song when I listen to it. So, you know, it might mean something different, but hey, we all have our own interpretation of what we listen to and what our um, interpretation of something is. Okay, Conrad Tokyo. Now, I think that this song is just so amazing. I think this is the song Kendrick Lamar uh, was on. Just amazing. It's just, 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 just awesome. This is just song. This is just a song that I just will will listen to nonstop. Okay, I think I probably had this one on repeat. I think I had um man, just a lot of other songs on repeat nonstop. You know, I'm a little late on this review, but I just think that they they just really came back and delivered a solid masterpiece with this album. But Conrad Tokyo was just amazing. I think it just talks about escaping, you know, uh troubles and just traveling and i really really like it I, I i have to give them their props it's just amazing kendrick lamar did an amazing job ego just talks about when you ego tripping guys i really really like it, it just everything all the songs give a different none of the songs sound alike they all give a different you know a different mood and a different tone and what i love about their music is just just so out there and it's so space like you just will really fall in love with it guys uh, then the last song is called The Donald, okay? Now, you will probably think that, oh, who, who is he talking about? No, no, he's not. He's actually talking about Fife Dog. Well, they actually kind of relating this song to Fife Dog, basically, because I think that's one of his nicknames or something like that. But Push Comes to Shove, this is just amazing i just really really liked it the song you could just get you just get that old school uh tribe called quest vibe to it and it's just amazing every song from 1 to 16 is amazing guys it would not disappoint you listen to it you'd be like damn 
they are really bringing back real hip hop. And even though they're kind of old in the game, that doesn't have shit to do with it, okay? They still sound good, okay? For, for them to be gone for 18 years and come back and still slay like this, this album should be number one. I think it's number one on iTunes right now, which it deserves to be, okay? Because... It's amazing. I just I just get so many different some of the songs kinda give me a, a the old school black eyed peas vibe. It just gives me just that old nineties flavor. Just each song just give me a nineties flavor. They don't sound like this washed like some of the washed up new generation stuff. You know, they just sound like the old school nineties. They're real good hip hop guys. You will not be disappointed when you look at you be like, damn. They really did a good job. So check it out. The album is called Yet Again. We get we get we got it from here. Thank you for your service. Uh check it out. It's on iTunes. Hopefully it'll be in store soon. I would definitely get it a physical copy of this. Uh if you're looking for that real underground hip hop, you know, that real, real, real under the basement hip hop. This is for you. So check it out. I got to give Q-Tip and everybody their props. I have to give them all a shout out. The whole a Tribe Called Quest. A, 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 a shout out for this amazing Masterpiece album. And Busta Rhymes and Kendrick Lamar. All the other people. Oh, I forgot to mention Andre 2000. Was also in one of the songs, guys. He was in one of the songs. Just a lot of people who had anything to do with this. Uh, uh, Anderson Pack was in a, a song. I, I can't remember which song it was. As you know, they're not necessarily featured on the album, but they're uh they're credited, you know, in the album. So just check it out and just tell me guys what you think about it and comments below. Check it out. This is your boy yet again with another video. I do videos like this every day, all week. Anything that catch my attention, y'all know I'm going to review it and give y'all the scoop. Hit that subscribe button and subscribe to your boy. Check me out. Yeah.